Hey guys, welcome to The Chill Zone and today we're going to be talking about everything you need to know about the next steps for Origin Trail. Of course, the moment we've all been waiting for is here. We're about to launch the knowledge economy. We're about to go live with all of those amazing features and tokenomic upgrades. So it's really exciting that we're about to take the, the next step into the future. But before we do all of that, there's a couple of things you need to know, and we're going to basically dive into the latest release by the Origin Trail team. Now, as it says here, there's less than seven days until the multi-chain decentralization knowledge graph and the track on XDAI bounty program launch. Now, so today we're going to be breaking this video up into different segments. At first, as a newcomer, you're going to want to know what is interesting to you as a newcomer. Secondly, as a node runner, you're going to have a few details that you're going to need to know before you leave this video. And in the final part, we're just going to shed some clarity around the XDAI implementation and the actual staking pool, which just reached 100 million track token stakes. So congratulations to the Origin Trail team and the wider Origin Trail community. Now, what's new about this launch in particular is the upcoming fifth version or version five of the origin trail decentralized network now it says here the upcoming ot node v5 introduces several pivotal changes which radically extend the capabilities of the origin trail decentralized knowledge graph and set the foundation for the inception of the origin trail knowledge economy tools now if you don't know the knowledge economy tools and we're talking about implementing these different in these different knowledge economy incentivization tools like the knowledge token knowledge wallet knowledge marketplace knowledge tenders by heading into our new blockchain agnostic future it's really paving the way for all the the implementation of all these knowledge economy tools now it says here the upcoming v5 is the first version to bring origin trail to its multi-blockchain implementation as we just said taking the blockchain agnostic path as envisioned in the original white paper initially origin trail will support ethereum and xdai blockchains soon afterwards moving towards integration with the community operated starfleet blockchain and further integration with polkadot right now today we are all on ethereum the next step is to move into xdai and then from xdai we're going to move into starfleet chain so for those of you that keep asking about that keep asking when is starfleet chain going to go live and why are we using xdai xdai is not to be viewed as some sort of band-aid solution until starfleet chain no xdai is to be considered an actual working strong extension of the multi-chain environment it's not a patchwork it's not a fix it's origin trail achieving its goals by um by ushering in xdai as the fourth multi-chain as the fourth chain in our multi-chain environment so it's a it shows that we can integrate multiple chains and get this thing actually working and running so this is pretty good so there's a couple of things you're going to want to know so as a new person that's pretty much what's happening in the origin trade community right now that's why we're excited we're excited that we're going to be moving away from ethereum we're going to be decoupling from the gas fees we're going to be getting away from all the crazy amounts of money you have to pay in fees and what this means is for us we're going to be able to publish jobs in our network with limited costs we're going to be able to expand our network with limited costs um this is by leveraging xdai because of their uh al almost near fearless nature so um yeah this is a really exciting uh really exciting upgrade for the origin trail community i am so excited now as a node runner now for you new folks you may not be node runners but as a node runner there's gonna be a couple of things that you need to know now the test net goes live on the 17th of march on wednesday the main net will go live the following tuesday on the 22nd of march now this is after the testing that has been validated and everything is looking good and we're all set to run now there is something here you need to understand it says do not attempt to update your node before version 5 is officially live 
on testnet or mainnet as the update will not complete only update your nodes once the v5 has been released for the particular network to run your node on so as a node runner you need to understand that you should not be launching the update as yet the testnet goes live on the 17th of march and the mainnet goes live on the 23rd of march now of course they did release instructions to update you to update your origin trail node to v5 i will be covering this in the chill zone so if you want to wait for that you can wait for that i promise you it will be timely because i will be doing it myself so i will be covering this so you can wait for that video or you can feel free to go ahead and march along and get what you need done done last but most definitely not least we're going to be talking about the or at least shedding some light around the x die integration now the 100 million track stake is for starfleet that 100 million track is not going to be for x die okay now it says here during this process up to 100 million track tokens will be locked and transferred to the starfleet blockchain on genesis a bounty pool of 5 million track tokens has been designated exclusively for those staking for starfleet and is about to be made available once the origin trail decentralized network version 5 is launched on the mainnet these tokens will be distributed on the x die blockchain as extract so to be clear the 100 million track tokens is for the starfleet blockchain so after we we've produced the genesis block we're going to imbue the network with some mystical 100 million track tokens and the 5 million track is from the bounty pool which will be sent over to the x die blockchain and turned into x track now, for those of you staking in the 100 million pool, you will be rewarded with X track on the X die blockchain for doing so. So, and there are a couple of things to keep in mind. For example, you, it, you will be rewarded with the exact same wallet. So you're not going to be getting rewarded in some strange mystical wallet you, you stored from out of nowhere. Okay. As it says here, bug bounty collection will have to be performed using the same wallet as the one used for staking you will also need to provide certain personal information to be eligible to receive the bounty the information is needed to comply with accounting and legal standards and will be stored and managed according to the requirements of gdpr so in order to claim your bounty you're going to need to give up some pii i know some of you guys get really touchy when it comes to your personal information if you do not want your bug bounty you can feel free to tell the team you want to give it to mr amos thomas i'll take it for you okay once again origin trail v5 is coming you're gonna have to update your origin trail decentralized network nodes and the bug bounty program will be rewarded on x die the 100 million track is for starfleet and all is well in the chill zone Trust me.